What's up, boys? Got the Loki Thor G1350 Pro, 1350 amps. That's right. This has a LIFE PO4 battery, which is about five times the average life of a lead acid battery, double the life of a lithium ion battery, and it's much safer too. So we have the manual and the unit itself. Like I said, it does have a quite a bit of weight to it here. This unit weighs 1.7 ounces. There's where you connect your booster cables to. Then on the other side is where you charge it. And it also works as a power bank. It has several modes for a flashlight. We have a little carrying bag. The cables, pretty heavy duty. Oh yeah, got some good spring there. And we have a USB-C to USB-C cable. And a USB-A to USB-C cable. And that's for input or output. Let's plug this in. Let it charge up. I have a 10.2 watt charging brick. I also have a 100 watt charger USB-C. Let's see if this makes any difference. Oh yeah, so it looks like it will charge at about 30 watts with the proper power supply. So we'll let this charge up. Here's the specs on this if you're interested. Well, we're all charged up. Right here is all your icons for warnings. That's your negative and your positive connections. If they're connected correctly, it'll let you know. This also has a dimming feature. Plug in this end. So this has reverse polarity protection. I'm going to show you how that works. Hook it up wrong. Okay. Now we'll hook it up correctly. It has five volts in it. This is a low battery. Everything's green and it's actually boosting. Showing the countdown timer. Showing the voltage again. At 4.8 volts. As you can see, that meter jumped right up to about 13 and a half volts. But the battery had 4.8 volts in it. I'm going to push this button here and give it a 200 amp load and see what it acts like. Yeah, held it for a little while there. And it's going to show that it has an error. 450. I can smell that heated up pretty good. So we'll disconnect this. Say we're down to four and a half volts in this battery. Sort of like, oh man, this isn't going to start the battery. It's too low and the safety is having it shut off. So, so we'll disconnect this. Hold this down for five seconds. As you can see, it's in force boost mode and then we'll boost it this way. Now it's like hooking a battery direct. No reverse protection or anything. Let's hold this button and give it a 200 amp load and see how long it holds it. See now we're holding it. Almost 10 volts. And it's got 10, yeah, 10.7 volts. As you can see, I'm holding it, holding it, holding it. I could probably shut this light off and you can see, boy, that's glowing red now. Holding it. Yeah, she's smoking pretty good now and we'll shut it back off so if you have to give it a heavy duty boost and your battery is completely shot that's how you do the manual bypass mode which sets these apart from a lot of other jump packs a lot of other jump packs you cannot do that so then let's turn that back off whoo oh that's hot now just the battery itself looks like 10 point almost 11 volts but when it gives it a little bit of a test it shows 4.8 volts so yeah I think this battery is probably shot because as you could see with just a load of the meter it keeps dropping pretty fast that's just a load of the meter looks like we used one bar of battery 
you want at least a 30 watt charger USB-C you want a fast charge on this so I think it's a nice unit It'd be perfect for a home shop or even a regular shop if you do automotive and you got to keep jumping cars this thing's pretty nice compact enough but it has a big punch 1350 amps if you're looking to get one of these I'll have the link down below and as I've said before Loki Thor is one of my favorite Vin Cheesel approved thanks for watching guys hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'd love to hear what you have to say hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos links for products to used are in the description and on motoshees.com thanks for watching